It's Civic Pride Day in Sandare, the town that crime built. These children, lucky enough to be in school, are collecting litter. They're led by the mayor, Vasila Sava. It's here that in April, 500 special forces, British and Romanian police, staged a nighttime raid on 34 houses, arresting 27 alleged gang bosses. They're accused of training children in crime and sending them west. As well as the arrests, police found money and weapons, as well as detailed logs of children they'd allegedly trained. Police estimate the children, some as young as seven, could have been earning up to $15,000 a month through a combination of begging, stealing or ATM and benefit fraud. And that in a country where a doctor or a policeman is lucky to be earning $400 a month. So much money was being sent back to Tandere that luxury cars soon began to appear on the streets, replacing horses and carts. Many cars carry foreign license plates. There's a housing boom too. New houses are being built and the demand for bigger and ever more ostentatious homes is outstripping supply. What do you say to people who accuse this town of being built by criminals because of the number of Range Rovers, British cars, new houses, sudden new wealth? I would tell them that they're wrong. We don't have any information about any criminal activity. Detectives have so far identified 168 children who'd been trafficked. Some had been trained specifically in burglary and pickpocketing. Despite these prosecutions, police fear the next generation of child crooks may already have started their education at a new Academy of Crime. Stephen Cole, Al Jazeera, Tandere, in eastern Romania.